Hi you guys, Nugi Tai here. I can't wait to show you a sexy, glamorous red carpet look on Brooke. So before we do anything, I want to set Brooke's hair for success with our Neural Style Prime. Great for any blow dry. I'm using my fingers to just work it through, make sure that everything's evenly distributed. And now I'm going to layer that with our Neural Lift for light volume, medium hold. I love our Neural Liquid Collection because it not only sets the hair up with great memory and great shine and condition, but it also protects the hair. I'm blow drying just away from the face, starting at the scalp root area and the crown back and forth. That will give me volume, a quick power dry. I don't really need to lift up the hair and round brush every section. That'll save time because I want to go in and set the hair anyway. Just using a round brush to just polish the ends. Now I'm going to go in and prepare her hair to set it with a nice glamorous wave. Sectioning out the front and the back so that I have more control. And now I'm taking the top and just divide it up into a nice little um, horseshoe area. So I'm gonna work on the sides first and then set the top and then move on to the back. You can already see the shine and great condition that our Neural Styler has given Brooke's hair. Now for the top, even though I section out of the way, I don't Zulu knot it or do any kind of tight clipping. Just barrel curl it so I don't disrupt the hair while I'm setting it. Now before any iron work, I want to put in my new best friend, which is our Neural Protect. Spray it on each section before I curl the hair. Taking a horizontal subsectioning on Brooke's side. Here's her left side, so I'm just going to go in and curl it around my Neural 1 inch rod away from her face. Ribboning it, no twisting, no turning, just a continuous wrapping. Making sure that I hold it for a couple of seconds before I release. So on Brooke's right side, all the curls are going away from her face. This will give a forward movement. It's going to be a little bit more classic inspired. I'm going to set the head all in that same direction. Therefore, on Brooke's right side, the curl will be moving towards her face. So I know it's counterintuitive, but Trust me, it works with this kind of setting. So again, horizontal section on her left side, the curl is going towards her face and that's gonna have like a movement that moves away from her face. I'm clipping it just so that it cools in that curl formation to give me a long lasting curl. Now moving to the top, 
I'm gonna spray each subsection with our NeuroProtect. I love the heat control technology. There is a combination of silicone and protein that interchange itself and gives the hair that protection from heat, friction, and tension. Now for the top, I'm curling all of her hair away from the face to her right because I know they're gonna drape this section of this top area to her left. This is gonna allow me to have maximum volume with a sexy relaxed out drape um, over her left cheek. I'm gonna continue this in the back, making sure that I clipped each one of those sections and let it cool in that curl formation for the longevity of it. And also too, if I leave that out, it dangles, the weight of the hair is going to relax out that curl before I get that sexy wave. I'm just continuing my curls top to the bottom, wrapping each one of the horizontal sections to the right. So you see that everything is going in the same direction. Once all the curls are cooled, I'm gonna release it and brush it out. Don't be afraid to brush out your curls. Do you see on her right, the curl is moving forward. And on her left side, you see that the curls and the direction of the wave has a little bit of a backward movement. So on her right, it's a little bit more classic. On her left, it's a little bit more modern. Now on the top, do you see the maximum volume that I got from just curling it on the opposite side? Now I'm dressing it out, this is my favorite part, taking big sections, doing a light teasy just to gather that section together so it stays put. Now just drape and mold and complement Brooke's face. I love a little sexy drape in the front. No back home needed for height, just for stability. And going in with my neuro finish to just keep everything and every hair in its place to give me that kind of Dita Von Tees vibe, a little Jessica Rabbit. Now Brooke is ready for her red carpet. Brooke is ready for a red carpet event. <laughs> 